Welcome back to my Kitchen Real Women of Philadelphia. My name is Sarah, and today I'm going to be cooking you a new entree inspired by Philadelphia light cream cheese. So, I think I've mentioned before, but I've recently driven from Halifax, my old home for seven years, to Victoria, BC, which is my new home. And when we drove, we camped most of the way. But when we got to the Rockies, it was cold and it was wet, and I was honestly just tired of camping. <laughs> so we stayed in hotels throughout the Rockies, and we went to a few different restaurants as well instead of cooking with the trusty old camp stove. One of the places that we went to was a Greek restaurant, and maybe it was just because I was cold, but the moussaka we had was so good. You know, but I felt really heavy afterwards, so I thought, why not try a Philly-inspired moussaka that is a little bit lighter? So that's what I'm going to cook for you today, my grilly moussaka. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my potatoes on the grill. And I'm going to use some of my fresh dill that I grow outside, and I'm just going to put a little bit of lemon juice on them as well. And who can forget salt and pepper? So I'll throw my potatoes on the grill and just get them cooking while I start getting my meat mixture, my other vegetables, and my bechamel sauce all set. So the next thing I'm going to do is get my meat mixture ready. And instead of doing it on the stove, I'm going to make my meat mixture into hamburger patties just to make them grilled and just delicious, just like all my vegetables and my potatoes. So instead of using lamb, I'm using ground turkey just to keep it on the light side. And now I'll put everything in that I would put into my moussaka meat mixture into my patties. So I have garlic, nutmeg, cinnamon, and tomatoes. Us Usually I use tomato paste, but I was out of that, so I'm using two teaspoons of great tomatoes that I just diced instead. I think they'll be a great addition and probably a staple in how I make moussaka from now on. So I'll get this all in, add one egg, mix it up, and make it into four patties. Luckily I had my fresh herbs staring me in the face, or I might have forgotten to add my fresh Italian oregano. So I've got my moussaka patties all set, complete with the fresh Italian oregano I almost forgot to add, and I've sprinkled on a little bit of fresh salt and pepper. And I also have one small eggplant that I've already salted and then patted off the salt just to get all the bitterness out, and two zucchinis. So I'll just put a little tiny bit of olive oil on these and bring these and my moussaka patties out to the grill. Sorry you couldn't come out to the grill with me, but it's raining outside and I didn't want to bring my laptop out with me. And maybe it was a good thing because my burgers got a little stuck, but I fixed them. So don't worry. Now they look great. So I'm back inside and now I'm going to make my bechamel sauce, which is going to tie the vegetables, the potatoes, and the moussaka patties together. So Philadelphia cream cheese light will be the star of my grilly moussaka. I've already made a roux of some butter and some flour, just two tablespoons of each, and I've melted it and it's starting to bubble a little bit, so now I can add my milk. I've got a cup of milk and I'll add that a little bit at a time until it's all blended. My sauce is starting to bubble, so now I can add my spices, my Philly, and a little bit of Parmesan. Of course I have some salt and pepper, and to make it into a moussaka bechamel, I have a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of nutmeg. And now for my Philly and Parmesan, I have a quarter cup of Parmesan and a half a cup of Philly cut into chunks just to help me whisk it in. It's done, it's nice and thick, and now I can start laying up my grilly moussaka. So now it's time to layer up my grilly moussaka. I have my Philly bechamel. my grilled lemon and dill potatoes, and my grilled zucchini, eggplant, and moussaka patties. So instead of layering my grilly moussaka like I would normally layer a moussaka, 
with potatoes, then my vegetables, then my meat, and finally my bechamel. I want to make my bechamel sauce starring Philadelphia light cream cheese, the star of this dish. So I'm going to sandwich everything between two layers of my bechamel sauce. So I'm going to start with a layer of my bechamel sauce, then add my potatoes, then add my meat, and then add my vegetables. Finally, I'll put a little drizzle of my Philly bechamel sauce right on top. My patties aren't perfect, but they look pretty good and I think they'll taste even better. And one final little bit of my Philly bechamel sauce just to finish it off. So, here's my grilly moussaka. You can see every layer, and every layer is so much lower in fat and covered in Philadelphia light cream cheese than it would be with the traditional moussaka. So now it's time for my favorite part, taking a taste. <laughs> So I got all the same flavors of a traditional moussaka, but the eggplant didn't soak up barely any oil at all. I only used about a tablespoon in total for an entire eggplant, and everything was done on the grill, so it was so much healthier. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my take on a grilly moussaka.